Good morning, you guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 5, Episode 3. This morning, I have decided to film a little, like, weekend, Christmassy, winter morning routine. I try to really romanticize my weekend mornings just because five days of the week, I'm getting up super early and going to school and hating my life. <laughs> so when the weekend comes around, I really try to, like, enjoy my mornings and take them slow and stuff. Um, my voice sounds really, like, congested right now one because that's kind of how I sound every morning but two I'm a little bit under the weather right now feeling some cold symptoms coming on but ignore that it'll probably go away in a few minutes but yeah welcome to my 2022 winter morning routine we're going to my grandma's today which is like two hours away and I have to leave in like an hour and a half so we're going to kind of get going and get ready for that I've already shown this but the first thing that I love to do in the morning is just chug water Okay guys, I just made some breakfast, literally just like two eggs and two pieces of toast and then my smoothie. This is a really standard breakfast for me. I don't really make it before school because I don't have time to like cook up eggs and stuff. But on the weekends, you best believe I'm having this at least Saturday or Sunday, like one of the days. I just peel off a little corner of the toast and then I dip it in my egg yolk and it is so good. Also during this time, I usually go on YouTube and I put up one of my favorite podcasts. I'm such an iPad kid when it comes to eating. Like, I will always be... Sorry, I'm like talking with my mouth full of food. I'm disgusting. There's rarely ever a time when I'm eating that I'm not watching something. Unless I'm like out to eat or at somebody's house eating or something like that but i just like love eating and putting on like youtube videos or like video versions of podcasts i'm back in my room i'm just finishing up my smoothie um normally what i would do at this time would just be like chill in bed watch tiktoks watch youtube videos get any homework or editing done that i need to um but since i am going to my grandma's today i have to get like ready for the day earlier than i normally would i mean today is sunday and some Sundays I don't even like get ready because I don't I don't do anything But today is a little bit different I need to take a shower and then like do a little bit of makeup and get dressed and stuff And I have to leave in like 30 minutes That's kind of all that's on the agenda with this whole vlogmas thing I literally have so much work to do every single day I have a video that needs to be edited every single day So it's been a lot um, and I really take advantage of my Sundays and like my Sunday mornings So I'm probably going to edit all the way to my grandma's house and then on the way back as well, which is like a total of four hours. Oh my God, I have a brain freeze. Oh my gosh. Ow, what the heck? Rocking around the Christmas tree. I got dressed. Um, I'm just wearing like a super comfy, cozy outfit that's still like not too bummy, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm not really gonna do much for my makeup, but I'm gonna put a little on just because I'm not looking my best today. Um, I don't know what to do with my hair. 
I'm literally so pissed off that these drunk elephant bronzy drops are so popular right now on TikTok. I have been using these for like a year and a half. I'm almost out of my bottle. I can't find them anywhere because everybody is buying them and they're all sold out everywhere and it's not fair. I went to two different stores yesterday that both sell drunk elephant products and both of the stores were sold out of the little sunshine drops. I feel like my dark circles today are terrible. I don't know what's been going on. I feel like no matter how much I sleep, my under eyes are so dark. <laughs> they look so sleep deprived no matter what. Dude, I can't even describe to you the pain that I feel on Sundays knowing that I have to go back to school tomorrow. It is not even funny. And I know a lot of people can relate because nobody likes school, right? I mean, there might be some people that like school. Congratulations to you. Couldn't be me. I know everybody hates school, right? But I feel like I've talked about this. I feel like I hate school more than the average person. I just hate school so much. I feel like it's such a waste of time. Like, obviously, school and getting an education is so important. Don't get me wrong. Like, school is important. School matters. Where I draw the line is, why do we have to be there for eight hours every single day? I just feel like we waste so much time by sitting in classes that are an hour long. And it's like, we do an assignment that would take me 20 minutes on my own time. But by the time the teacher explains it to everybody, by the time people actually get working, by the time, like, it just seems like such a waste of time. And I could do all of my school work in half the amount of time that I have to be at school they don't give like kids and teenagers the opportunity to do anything outside of school without being stressed out like if you play a sport you're gonna be stressed out because how are you supposed to balance eight hours of school and then practices and then homework and then if you if you want to get a job like how are you supposed to do anything without feeling so stressed out like, like none of it makes sense to me if you guys enjoy little like get ready with me's and stuff like this go follow my tiktok because I I have been posting like get ready with me for Saturday night with friends get ready with me for a concert get ready with me like I've been posting so many get ready with me's and I plan to keep doing them because they're just like fun I also love doing hauls on TikTok. It's so hot in my room right now. I don't know what's going on I feel like my house is either freezing or my dad has the heat turned up to 93 degrees Like there's no in between i'm sweating. I have like 10 minutes till we're supposed to leave. Um, so I need to hurry <laughs> If you're a morning person, um, please let me know tips to become a morning person because that is so not me. It's never been me, but I've been talking about for the last eight years of my life that I want to be a morning person um, and I haven't been able to figure out how to do that yet. I just cannot go to bed early. I do not know what it is about me. It'll never make sense to me, but I think it's just the way that my brain is wired, to be honest. Shout out to Michael Germain because I've talked about their Sugarful Dream perfume so many different times. This is probably my favorite perfume ever. It smells like heaven it's very sweet they recently reached out and sent me a ton of the sugarful dream and i was thrilled but they just sent me their sugarful sunshine as well and i've been loving this one just as much as this one i never know what vibe to pick though Okay, I think that's gonna be all that I do for my makeup because I don't really, I don't, I'm done. I don't want to do it anymore. I need to fix my hair though. Putting on some Dior lip oil because my lips feel very dry. Okay, I literally only have like five minutes till I need to leave. And I need to pack up like my laptop and my headphones and everything like that. So I need to hurry, but I kind of just want to run over my hair with a straightener quick because it's just like poofy and annoying me. This is like my natural hair. It's so confusing. Like it's definitely very straight, but it's not like good straight because it's like very, I don't know how to describe this. It like, maybe it's just not healthy, dry, but it doesn't feel dry. Like it still feels really smooth, but it's just like poofy straight. Like I washed it last night, let it air dry and then didn't do anything with it. And this is how it looks. I've been using the Sun Balm heat protectant for a while now, just because they sent it to me. Um, but I don't honestly recommend. I feel like it's very oily. Like I don't know how to describe it. There's like oil mixed in with the stuff and you have to like shake it. And sometimes if I don't shake it enough, my hair gets like really, really shiny and oily. If you have have a good heat protectant that you use let me know what it is because this one is almost gone so I'm gonna need a new one soon and I don't want to get this one again like obviously you guys know what a straightener does like it like smooths out your hair and straightens it 
but like this side just looks so much better than this side and I hate it because I don't want to have to like straighten or curl my hair every day over the last like year I've really just started to hate my natural hair like I hate leaving it like this because it just feels unhealthy but then I know that straightening it is actually making it more unhealthy so it's super counterproductive I'm gonna use a little bit of my Lanza healing oil, just a tiny bit, and I'm gonna put that on like the ends of my hair really lightly. There we go. I need to leave really bad. My camera's about to die, but here is the final outfit in case anybody's wondering. It's very like cozy, like I said. Um, my hair, whatever, my makeup, whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Vlogmas. I know it was very like chill and laid back, but a lot of you guys have been asking for another morning routine. So I thought like a Christmassy winter morning routine would be perfect for a Vlogmas episode. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. Again, I'm uploading every other day for the entire month of December up until Christmas. So don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos and I will see you in two days. I love you.